strike of a light bulb. I just air it out and leave with the mic broke. Your micro, I'm hard body like Tyco. Heavy metal Chevys with nitro. Addicted to the vapors of paper. Hypnotic to the thirst. I'm pulling off criminal capers. I know the cocaine crackery stinks, but that's what it is. Surrounded by the khakis and mints. We move. Oh. Well, there was a. It sounded like a dog was barking on your end. Oh, that was the ice machine. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there was. So, I think there was a very good line. I think it was from uh, Jeff Kaplan on the World of Warcraft team at Blizzard. Okay. And I think this was something he said at BlizzCon, or I'm sure a lot of people have said this, but I think he phrased it particularly well. And people were like talking to him about why the boss fights in World of Warcraft weren't harder. Oh, right. Like, why don't and, you target the healers first? Or, right. Yeah. And he was just like, look, making something hard is not difficult. It's making something fun that's difficult. Yeah. Like, if you just wanted something hard, we could crap that out <laughs> immediately. Like, that's no time at all to make something hard and it'll take you a long time to beat. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's really easy to make something hard. But making right. something fun and difficult is very different. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's it's this sort of weird thing, and I think a lot of people fall into that trap. And I'm not even talking about Carl anymore, because Carl is actually really good. Oh, yeah. And he doesn't do that kind of... And I think, I mean, one of the th reasons we picked the Snow Beast Award winner is because if somebody only does crap work, you're not going to call them out and be like, here was another one of the crap things you did in the field of crap that you did, right? Except for when you won it. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, uh, that's a different thing. Right, exactly. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, he did a lot of really excellent stuff on the thing. And, like, you know, we were talking about how amazing that missile attack that he did work with all the radicals on the ground. Right, right, yeah. Like, he gets it right a lot of the time. So I'm not picking on Carl. I just want to make it clear. That <laughs> like, when we're going off on this tangent, it's not about him. It's about just in general, it's a mistake that's very easy to make. And this is evidence to that. All right. That even if you are very good at, you know, making things sort of fun and interesting and reading, you can have those sort of missteps where you're kind of like, and I mean, it's it goes back to a little bit what we were talking about before, I think on the last series, is that you internalize these things and you sort of take it personally and you're like, no, I'm not changing this, I'm standing my ground on this. And it's just kind of like, it's not that it's, it's not that we want you to make it easier, it's that we want you to make it different. And it's sort of <laughs> coming that, coming to that line and sort of figuring out, and I mean, that, that was the same problem we had with the Snow Beasts, right? It's, it's like, it's not that we want the snow beasts to be easier. It's just the way that they are difficult is incredibly frustrating right, to right. people. Now, people are wrong for complaining about the snow beasts <laughs> that, that, that way. But, they, I mean, it, it's the same sort of idea. And that's sort of why the Rockets were sort of a, a fine second annual winner to the Snow Beast Award. Because it has the same sort of, sort of problem. It's that they're difficult in a very frustrating way. And so for the second annual Snow Beast Award winner, I offer a round of applause. <laughs> Woo! Good job. Good job to Carl. <laughs> uh, I don't remember who won it after that. I mean, was it Duncan or? Uh, well, I left as soon as Rat to Deadlock wrapped up. Oh, so you don't know who like, won it for Deadlocked. Like on the day we went gold, I think I was like, all right. Uh, and that was my last day. I think uh, I think it was a designer actually got it on Deadlocked. So I think okay. I think it even switched departments, which is kind of crazy. Do you remember what I'm supposed to be doing in this no. level? I have no idea. Probably you should go to the red dots on the map. Uh, the red dots. All right. I'm just killing stuff. Yeah. Oh no! Maybe you're supposed to attack the base. The shield base. There's probably some shields in there. I, I was thinking that, but I mean, I can't attack the turrets or anything. All the shields are up. See, like, uh, yeah, it's still all covered. Hmm. I don't. I just don't remember enough about that, and I can't. I say quit the mission and start again, and then actually pay attention. What? No, I've come too far. Or I could quit the mission and not come back. That would also be fun. <laughs> Uh man, I'll just kill some kill some dudes. I wanted to get bolts so we could buy new weapons. Uh, I bought us the plasma yeah. shield generator. Quit the mission and start again. Just do that. Oh, I just oh, won. There you go. You won. Okay, I guess I was supposed to go after the red dots. All right. Well, uh, you know what? I think that's enough for the planet Tyrannosis. 
so I think we should uh, we should head to the next level. What do you think? Uh, that seems like a good idea. All right. So for developer commentary, I'm Mike Stout, and I am Tony Garcia. And send us home, Tony. And uh, we'll see you next time.